Greetings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pray that uh, uh, you are doing well and, and God is uh, protecting us. May God uh, be with you uh, and be with me. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Whether we like it or not, my brothers and sisters in Christ, God is still good. Whether we are locked down or we are outside walking, um, doing activities, God is still good. And our, our friend uh, recently, I've been sharing with friends and uh, I've been also uh, I've been, um, praying and thanking God um, for his uh, breath of life. And when we can be trained and prepared or formed or born with that spirit to know how to serve money and to serve food, but we cannot save the breath of life. So I'm so grateful and I pray that uh, you also discover and um, discover that um, within your life that the breath of life we are breathing today is just by God's grace. May God bless you. Uh, friend, that being said, I just want to wish uh, Happy Mother's Day. Today is a blessed day uh, to celebrate um, the good things that our mothers have done. Um, I pray for wisdom to increase, uh, for patience to increase. Uh, I pray for God anointing upon their lives. Um, and I pray for God protection. We are so blessed to have all these mothers in the entire world. May God bless you. Um, we do have our sister Seymour, our daughter uh, Seymour. Um, she's really gifted. She wants to share this piece um, to celebrate uh, together a day like this and uh, where our mothers uh, um, are blessed. Um, so I'm inviting Sima to uh, um, uh, play for us. Thank you, Sima. Uh, what a wonderful and gifted daughter from, of, of God. I mean, God bless you. We are so blessed to have you and your family in our ministry, in our church. And I pray for the anointing to increase again over your life and your family. Thank you, Sima. Blessings to you. 
um, um, let us pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Eternal God, Holy and Living Father, I just come before your throne of grace to uh, thank you for everything you have done in our lives. So Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for all the blessings we have uh, experienced in our lives. Thank you, God. We can save food, we can save money, but we cannot save the breath of life. That's why, Lord, together we humble ourselves to you and say thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for all the mothers in this world. We thank you, God, for your, your, your wisdom and your presence in their lives, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for all the blessing that, Lord, you have given all the mothers. I pray, God, on this particular day for those mothers who are struggling, Lord. Hear their prayers, oh God. For those who have been blessed, use them to be uh, to bless others for the sake of your glory. Father, I thank you. I bless you in Jesus. The Lord Lord, hallelujah, la Shabbat. It is written, Lord. You said, in my children, it is not by might, by strength, it is by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I speak, oh God, by your spirit, Lord. Hear our prayer. I pray, God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord. I pray for those who are struggling, Father, from any sickness in Jesus' name. Lord, heal them, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by your spirit, Lord, hallelujah. Reset our mind, Father, to set our mind on the things that God we haven't seen yet for the sake of your glory. Bless each and every child of yours by the spirit we have promised in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for the presence of the Holy Spirit to increase in our ministry, to increase in our homes, to increase in our state, in our cities, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you to all, but we bless you, we worship you for who you are, for what you have done, for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we lift up, oh God, nurses and doctors. We pray for them, Lord, in in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, God, for those who have been affected for with COVID-19. We speak right now, Lord, for healing power in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for comfort for those who have been mourning recently in Jesus' name. We pray, God, in Jesus' name, Lord, hallelujah, for a spiritual, God, for a provision, financial provision, spiritual provisions, Lord Almighty God, intellectual provisions within our lives, within our state, within our, 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 our nations in Jesus' name. We bless you because you have heard us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you have done right now. We give you praise and we bless your living name. We lift of our voices we do acknowledge your presence thank you god thank you jesus thank you for hearing our prayer this morning in jesus name i pray and say amen uh, my brothers and sisters in christ god is still good and uh, and uh, i I just want to encourage um, um, all of you uh, as we are looking forward to uh, uh, to reopen our our cities, our our activities, and I just want to remind you to uh, pray um, um, uh, as we go forward, and we and uh, we don't even know how things are gonna look like. Uh, it's not gonna be the normal life we used to live. It's gonna be God no more life and we, only god sees that life we haven't seen yet i just want to remind you to pray uh uh and to remember this process and into your prayer each and every day may god bless you uh, that being said i'm uh, just gonna invite uh sister natalia today we're gonna have like we combine service and i combine service sister natalia she's gonna play for us and and uh and later on we are going to have our brother jacob and and also uh uh, she will be, uh, you will be also part of this service. Uh, may God bless you. And Sister Natal, I'm invited.
Thank you, Natalia. What a blessing. You have been a blessing in in this ministry and more hope in our church. May God really uh, bless you. May the spirit of God uh, increase in your life. I pray for the anointing over your life to uh, for God to fully use you uh, wherever you are. And in the in this ministry at Mount Hope United Church, thank you. God bless you. All right, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are going to hear the word uh, the Lord has given to us. Uh, let me begin with uh, a prayer. Heavenly Father, holy and living God, I just uh, thank you for this opportunity you have called unto me to share this word with your children. Father, Lord, unless you speak, otherwise everything I will say is nothing. Holy and living God, I pour out your Holy Spirit to open our, our ears to hear, our eyes to see, our heart to receive it. Father, may you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, may you be increased as I decrease for the sake of your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my friend, uh, today uh, the, I'm going to share with you the, uh, this piece of song, which uh, will go along with the message the Lord has given to us. We are going to sing in our United Methodist Church hymn, uh, but uh, I, have to, I, have, I have to say something before we sing for uh, I want you to know that I'm not a very good singer, my voice and uh, this has been a prayer in my life for years, and I do know, and I'm waiting, asking God to also give me that gift. I've seen my brothers and sisters uh, gifted with that uh, uh, that voice uh, and 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 singing for God. I, I admire that gift. I say praise the Lord, and I go to God because the Bible says, "Ask who shall be given." So I've been praying for that, but God isn't given yet until uh, you know um, someone within my life who witnessed that this is really uh, a different voice, uh, like my wife, who always laughing at me when I sing. And so anyway, I'm going to sing this song from this um, United Methodist Church hymno. Uh, if you do have one, please uh, sing along with me. Uh, we are going to sing from page 351. Uh, this song, as I said, uh, goes along with the message. Um, if you don't have the, the hymno, you can uh, just uh, uh, hear me singing. The title is Pass Me Not. O oh, gentle Savior, pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. Three, five, one. Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior, in my humble cry, while on other are calling to not pass me by, Savior, Savior, in my humble cry, while on other are calling, do not pass me by. Let me at thy throne of mercy find a sweet relief, kneeling there in deep contribution of my unbelief. My humble cry, while on other are calling, do not pass me by, trusting only in thy merit, would I seek thy faith? 
hear my wounded broken spirit. Save me by thy grace. Save your my humble cry. Why on other holy? Do not pass me by. Guys, praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Christ, sir. Today, it is your day. It is your day. It is my day. God will bless you. May he bless you. May he bless me. May he bless our community. May he, may he bless our cities. May he bless our nation. May he bless this time, this time like this. Today, I want to share with you about um, the assurance of God protection. The assurance about God protection, which will come from the book of Psalm 121. We'll read it as we go. 121, the book of Psalms. This is one of the Psalms where the children of Israel could come all over places singing as they were going to the temple in Jerusalem to worship God. As it's read from Psalm 121, I shall read this. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forever. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this journey of the children of Israel could take from time to time. To go to the temple was not an easy journey. It was not. It was a journey that they could, uh, they, could, they could not contemplate to go on their own. That's why we hear David from Psalm 122. David is saying, I was glad when they told me we see a group of people. Let us go to the house of the Lord. This was, this was not a safe journey going by yourself. This journey was dangerous. It was done during the summer where it was very hot. And you might battle, the, some scholars say you can battle a battle, battle to breathe because of the weather. 
It was part of the des desert and also the possibility of enemy coming toward them could happen. Therefore, I can say that it was a very, very difficult journey for them. But friend, in this difficult journey, then you hear this verse, uh, verse one to two, someone who's contemplating the journey, someone who's contemplating the journey by saying, I lift up my eyes to the mountain. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. As he is, he is lifting up his eyes to the mountain, is also being intimidated by the surrounding. The area which was dangerous was also intimidating the person who was contemplating is God. He questioned himself by saying, if I had to take this journey, where is my help come from? He questioned himself. In other words, we are, the Bible just said, if we have to go out now, from our lockdown, where is our help come from? Where is our help come from? Friend, I come to you as a God servant. God has given to me with this message at a very interesting time. At a time where the lockdown has been changed, based on the government and, and the leaders, the level has been changed and reduced with some of us tomorrow or this week or the week after we are going back to work. Oh, you have been already working. Working with those who have been working while we have been enjoying our lockdown, such as nurses and doctors. They could not even enjoy the lockdown. Going back to the company where you are not so sure how the measure has been taken for your health. And perhaps uh, you are asking this question. We are asking this question now. How do I go there? And where does my help come from? Where does my help come from? As I face life challenges, where does my help come from? In a time like this of COVID-19, where does my help come from? The psalmists sort of answer our question. They give us an answer and say, my help come from the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth, that's where my help comes from. The very creator of the mountains and ill, and I should not be intimidated by tomorrow situation. I should not be intimidated by the future situation. I should not be intimidated by the situations that are surrounding me right now because my help come from the Lord. This is where I found my protection. That's what David said. This is where I found my protection. David and his friends did find their protection and assurance in God. 
As David was trying to picture God, I wanted to picture uh, the quality of God. David could picture the quality of God by saying, the God I do worship as power. This God as wisdom. This God as glory. Why should I be afraid? This is the God who created everything. Then there is no reason. There is no reason for me to be afraid of. There are some, when you read the scripture, you are going to understand there are major things that the psalmist is speaking to us to picture the God who is with us today. Things like David, who pictures himself and saw that the creation which is before us can witness how majestic God is. The creation that surrounds us can remind us that indeed there is a more powerful God who is in control for this life and for the next life which we haven't seen yet. There is a God. Friend, take a look into your surroundings. Just look around you. Even later in the afternoon, just walk around in your neighborhood. Just the nature we looked around the speaks of how powerful our God is. The psalmist is getting this assurance that the creator will protect me and the evidence which assured me that I'll be protected is being seen in his creation. Is being seen is in, in his creation. That's the assurance for us. Now we are speaking of summer. Sooner we're going to speak about fall and winter. Who makes all those happen? Nobody has. Very soon we are going to see leaves changing color. Who makes those things happen? The creator. Picture that creator. That's where my hopes come from. That's where your help come from. I want you to look at the surrounding. This isn't the, the, the things again, David picture, we hear from his, uh, uh, the psalmist. That God's eyes are upon us. God's eyes are upon us. He's watching over us. He's watching over, over us every step of our lives. And if you read Psalm 3, verse 3 to 4, you'll be amazed. The Bible says, it will not let your foot slip. He who watch, watches over you will not slumber. Oh my goodness. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor slip. This is the picture of uh, how they were going up to that mountain and and that mountain, and God is saying, I, I know I'm concerned about every step you do take as you go up to the mountain. I'm concerned. What God is saying to us, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that God also is concerned about our day to day activities of our lives. In other words, God wants to be part of part of our daily activities as we are looking forward to our reopening, which we don't even know how it's going to look like. But God is, uh, is giving us the assurance here. I'm concerned that I'll be with you. 
He will guide us through. He will protect us. In the scripture we just read, and the word in which is being used, you hear the Bible says, He will keep you. Friend, it says our God will not slumber, not sleep. Wow. I picture that God. I don't know about you, me. I picture that God. Even when you go to sleep, your God does not sleep. Oh my goodness. Praise the Lord. Uh, how many, how many, how many times you do enjoy your sleep? But here comes a God who does not sleep for you and for me. I don't want to go deeper in your, 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 when you sleep, you know, you have dreams. But God is watching over you when you are sleeping. Even when you are tired, your God is not tired. In that particular time, there was so many false gods. That's why the scripture is being spoken to us. Just like in our time, people worship the sort of things. I want you to know that people worship sort of things. And one of the things which was critical was that people used to mock each other and said, where is your God? Is your God sleeping? And the psalmist is saying, my God does not sleep at all. My God does not sleep. If yours is sleeping, mine is not sleeping. My brothers and sisters, as we go out, as we, we, we are locked down, our God is not sleeping. And he goes on. I love uh, the, this scripture. I want to I wanna read it uh, with you. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shed at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forever. Now and forever. Friend, David with his friend is picturing that nothing is, will harm me during the day or during the night. What David is saying to us, what God is speaking to us, nothing will harm us. We are saving our, our good moments or bad moment that does not take the goodness of God from us. God is always there. During the, uh, a good moment, God is there. Even during the bad moment, when we are locked down or when we we'll go out, God will be always there. So they said the sun will not harm you. The moon will not harm you. What does that mean? It means that the situation we go through does not take the goodness of God from us because God is always there. God does not only show up when we are happy. God is always there. Nobody takes him in or takes him out. He's always in forever. That's why, the, uh, the, that's what God is speaking to us, my brothers and sisters. And I love uh, the, the verse 8, the Lord will watch over your, your coming and your going, both now and forever. Now and forever. Now we are locked down. He's there. And then after a couple, uh, couple years and months, we are going out. He will be there. Friend, uh, our God will watch over us 24 hours. 
when we say that God is watching over us, it brings about a peace within us. Even when we go through difficulties, things like this time with COVID-19, it gives us peace because God is with us. It brings about the fullness of assurance that God will always protect us and be with us. There is nothing to fear as you step out into a new world a new challenge, a new surrounding, you rest assured that the creator, the maker of heaven and earth is with you and with me. This is the assurance of God protections that the psalmist comforted themselves. And we are also being invited to embrace that assurance today that, that our God is going to protect us. He will be protecting you and me every step of our lives. Our God will be there. That's why Jesus Christ promised us when we read the book of John, we are going to understand that Jesus said, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I will send my spirit, which will be with you to the end of the world. There is an assurance there. We don't know how things are going to look like as we, as we are reopening our activities. But I want to assure my brothers and my sisters that Jesus Christ promised us that he will never leave us as orphans. That means he will never go away from us. He will be there each and every day of our lives. I want you to picture that God. Don't be afraid. We don't only see God when we are good, when things are moving according to our plan. We see God in a good time and bad time. He's still a God. So I want you to remember this. As you are looking forward tomorrow to go to work or after weeks, and for those who are going to remain locked down in their home, I want you to know that God we do worship is going to protect you. He said, I will watch over you as you go out and as you come in. In Jesus' name. Eternal God, I thank you. I bless you for the word that, you have, that has been spoken to us. Father, bless us. Father, we set our mind to understand your divine protections, to fully walk with it daily, live with it daily, that we do have a God who protect us. Thank you, Father, for your word this morning. Bless my brothers and sisters who, are, who have heard it, who will hear it later. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, uh, thank you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, right now, I'm going to invite Jacob to uh, uh, perform for us. And my brother Jacob is going to sing for us. Thank you.
Thank you, Brother Jacob. Uh, what, what, a, what a gift we have in our church, all this uh, 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 vessels of God and that God is using in our church. May God bless you. I pray also for the anointing over your life and your family. May God really bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, uh, let's receive uh, benedictions. And, and uh, as uh, wherever you are, I want you to hold your, 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 your right uh, hands and put it in your heart. Uh, put it on your heart here. Uh, let us pray. Lord, I thank you. I bless you for who you are, God. You have spoken. You have revealed yourself through music. But I pray, God, for my brothers and sisters, Lord, right now. Show your beauty as they hold their heart, their, their hands on their heart. Show your beauty. Reset their mind to fully understand that you are in control. You are a God who protects us each and every day. The nature that surrounds us can speak about your power and your presence. Father, thank you. Bless us, Almighty God. And bless our reopening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go in peace. May God bless you. Have a wonderful and blessed day and night. In Jesus' name. Amen.